fit the harness through because I'm going to be using this as the harness bar. I need to leave room all the way around the rear tube. Also the radiator has to clear the bottom of the spare wheel so having the spare wheel tub as high as it can go is obviously going to be beneficial being able to fit a radiator um, with a good amount of drop on it. Now that I have a set height for the spare wheel, I can sit the radiator in and see how high it can be and see where it needs to be mounted. Whoa. Now the thing to consider having the radiator in the boot of the car is airflow um, and also having enough drop on the radiator for it to do its job. So obviously I've measured how low the uh, original spare wheel holder is. So I know how far I can get it down. However I do want to keep some clearance under the car exhaust. It needs to be tilted up enough at the top to allow airflow from the rear quarter panel through side, the underside of the radiator. So I want to make it high enough so it's got enough capacity to get some air underneath it. If I lay it fairly flat, it won't get enough air behind it. It needs to clear the spare wheel so I can take some of this lip off the top. On the stock Subaru radiators they have, obviously the inlet pipe is right in the center at the top and that will obviously foul the wheel the way I have it set up. So it's important to have obviously all the piping out of the way on the side. There are way too many brackets on this radiator. As it's a universal one, they've obviously accommodated for lots of different fitments. I'll cut most of them off and I'll leave some plate on so I can make a custom bracket if I need to. going to be sat. I'm pretty happy with the clearance all round. The clearance underneath is much better than I thought it would be. And importantly the gap where the airflow has to get in, which is that dark patch there, um, is good. I've just measured the pan I need to make for the bottom to allow obviously for the drop and the drawing the air in cold air in to the underside of the radiator. Now I've got the measurements I need with it in place. I can take everything out, spin the car upside down and start making some templates to do the box.
angle of the pan. I'm in the process of squaring off the ends of the chassis rails at the back. I'm making them even length, left and right. And then I'll put captive plates on the weld nuts at the back. tubes on the rear. in for the base for the mount is it actually joins the two shells together quite well. Obviously that part is Subaru and that part is Peugeot so having that big area to tie it all together as well as obviously the cage on the inside is going to make it really strong. Mm -hmm. 